Well, I thought if I'm going to do this and I want to raise the profile of the charity, I thought I've got, I've got, I've got to find a, another, another hook, another way of uh, ra uh, getting me interested. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll apply for a Guinness World Record. Um, so I applied for a Guinness World Record as the fastest whippy ice cream and um, they came back and said no it's going to be the fastest dessert so I'm going to try this year at London Marathon to uh, beat the time of four hours 45 um, dressed as a whippy ice cream you know being an art teacher I thought let's not buy it online I did look I thought can I get the easy option um, but I'm really glad I didn't because uh, a lot of the making was done in college uh, I made it, um, obviously got a, f a little drawing down and then my colleagues, Phil Walker and Joe Pinhay, um, I couldn't have done it without them. Uh, they, they really helped me with making it, which was really, really difficult. I, <laughs> from design to making was an interesting process, but uh, running around the corridors in, in, in the art department and letting the, letting the students see and talking to the students, again, is that just that added aspect where I hope that I am trying to inspire these students to, to uh, it's not just academic that they've got to succeed in, it's also learning those community spirit values, uh, empathy, and I think that's something that Bobman College does really well. And, and I'm hoping that I'm just building on that. Last year, um, uh, my dad was uh, diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Um, and uh, uh, devastating for the whole family. Uh, just his need to beat it and, and just, you know, get over, you know, do, do his best to just keep going was just aided by um, the assistance that he got from the hospice. Um, there were times when I saw him in, in extreme pain and uh, which was very upsetting for everybody. But um, you know, to know that there was somewhere that he could go and it could give um, my my stepmom and all the family some 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 time to get our heads around what was happening and know that he was being cared for was it was invaluable. So that's that's the reason. I mean, it just really touched me uh, that the care that the nurses gave, the professionalism, the um, the facilities at Mount Edgecombe. Um, and right up to, the, to, to his last moments. Um, I can't fault the care that he got and, and that's driven me to, to do something for them.